why qa people are not given any respect in the company if you are someone who agree with this point that qa people are not given very kind of a respect that they deserve in the company then you are in the right place because i am going to discuss about this topic and i'm going to give you my personal views how you can make other people respect you more as a qa person Hey guys welcome to Destiny Academy my name is Pranav and I have been into industry for more than 9 years and I am working as a QA lead here QA lead and today we are going to basically debunk or basically discuss about this uh, topic which is basically uh, how uh, why QA people are not given any kind of respect right so we're going to see a mind mind approach let me make myself little smaller and uh, we're going to see how he, like in terms of work salary and other opportunity why queue people are not given the more respect and how you can gain the respect that you deserve in your company right i'm going to give you my personal views so let's get started all right before we before we start guys uh, first of all before we start if you are someone who want to become a better qa or if you are someone who just starting out or even if you are a fresher or have a 3 plus years or 4 years or 4 years experience and want to enhance your expertise in software testing then definitely look for the 30 days playlist where i have created for 30 days of automation testing 30 day 30 days of uh, selenium api testing and a rest assured and karate api so if you are interested do check them out and here is a link which is basically as the dot live slash 30 days make sure you check out those playlist right so let's uh, discuss the uh, topic today's topic and i'm going to discuss them in a three important factors the first one is basically in terms of work right so let's uh, get started first of all i think uh, why qa people are not given respect is the very clearly reason is this which is uh, let me pull up my marker also and let's uh, yeah so basically companies uh, companies don't give uh, basic company don't have any kind of a vision and uh, their objective uh, they don't have any kind of objective for their quality so exactly i mean is that uh, whenever they have hired you as a qa so basically you have hired as a qa they uh, your manager probably didn't have any kind of clarity what you are going to do so basically uh, the direct expectation from you is just to find bugs or just to test it right but overall what happened to overall quality what happens after bug if we found the bug on production right how we are as a team making sure this this is actually lacking in the big comp i have seen in the companies and qas are not given not given respect because company have a less faith this is one of the reason that i have seen because people uh, especially in the startup world i'm talking about you that especially in the startup world uh, they have very less faith of because uh, because of the i would say because uh, they have found some production bugs right and it's actually a uh, team failure rather than a qa failure but they actually blame the qa that's why they uh, the respect goes down and one more important thing i have seen is that uh, you as a qa don't take much of the responsibility that's why the respect is less for you in the company so i would highly recommend if to start taking more responsibilities for that and uh, you don't help or contribute in the project so basically apart from the uh, if you think your primary task if you, you think that your primary task is basically finding bugs or executing test case then you are wrong even as a manual tester or an automation right your primary task is basically owning the quality of that product so starting from the requirement phase to the till the end and af- even after the po- uh, releasing to the production you have to take care of the quality so that is what i actually expected right other uh, so that's uh, one of the thing that i have to discuss uh, uh, other people think that qa is easy that's why i have seen uh, if you are agree with this comment uh, type yes in the comment uh, in the comment section and let me know how many of you are agree with this right uh, due to production issues or any kind of a Uh, thing uh, you have leaked a bug so basically you so qa people will have uh, basically loses the respect right in the in this case so that's what's actually happened uh, if you are uh, basically uh, there are production bugs which are basically getting leaked uh, then qa people have a less responsibility but instead let me tell you how big companies basically handles so big companies uh, whenever we have a bug uh, leakage right it's a basically a failure of a team not only the 
QA people. So that uh, they have to take care of it. So that's where actually the companies are lacking. And that's uh, what I have seen. But uh, in the big companies, trust me, it's a team failure rather than a QA failure, right? So they ignore the fact that quality is uh, everyone's job. And that's uh, that's why and blame only QA. So that's what I have seen. Uh, ignoring QA estimates, automation, manual testing and documentation. So uh, what's happening is that uh, why why uh, basically there's a production bugs are happening because they are ignoring the QA estimates, manual testing, little documentation and automation because they have less respect. And this is actually the outcome of those things, right? The developer ignores QA bugs, uh, QA people, uh, QA is not critical for them. That's why they lose their respect, right? PMO stakeholders have very poor vision about the quality of the product. And this is what I have seen. So uh, whenever they are creating any kind of, kind of a product, right? For example, they are releasing a particular feature in their product, right? So what happening is that TMs or especially the stakeholders, they have very poor vision about the quality. So they are based just making sure that uh, we develop the product and just release to the users, right? So that's what what's happening. So let me tell you why. Uh, Q, uh, with the respect especially in terms of salary uh, of course this is debatable right De developers have a more salary uh, than QA people right uh, because of the you know it's an easy factor easy ba factor basically means they think that QA, P QA is very easy developing is uh, not and that's why they are not given any respect and that's uh, that's basically you are getting a less salary right and all so basically in a nutshell qa people are just to help you to release the product that's it in their mind and people look at the qa negatively so that's i have seen in the especially related to the asian part right so that's that's what right so let's discuss about the in terms of opportunity i think it's one of the important thing pay attention guys so in terms of opportunity uh qa people are not given respect because uh uh so allowing them to test only the build uh, let me so basically uh, whenever any kind of a product is come they basically are not not contributing to ux uh, things uh, they are not uh, helping pm and designers so that's where uh, they are also losing the opportunities in this case right because of the respect factor and now in the end and now i'm going to give you a very important thing which is my experience and how basically uh, you can contribute more in the product and this is trust me this i have seen i have done it and this is few of the point i would like to show right so let me pull up my marker so my so my point here is that uh, if you are someone who thinks that uh, you are as a qa are not given any respect trust me try these uh, steps okay and let me know in the comment if they are working fine for you okay uh, so uh, this respect part, I have seen that it doesn't happen with the all the QAs, right? So uh, in the big companies, uh, QAs are very, very, very respected. So in the many big firms, QA are very respective. It totally depends upon the how much you take the responsibility. If you own the product, it basically means you are helping your PMs and stakeholders to uh, get more clarity about requirements. You are giving uh, important bugs you are basically representing or giving proper estimates and you are basically helping uh, support team and other things also other teams or psms right uh, also about the product right it means you owning the quality overall right so that's where it is helpful if you provide immense value then you are you will be respected i'm going to tell, tell you about my scenarios means uh, whenever i get a product i basically help my pms or stakeholders to basically get clarity uh, execution part is that is my own right i have to follow my stlc lifestyle after that i help support people i try to help uh, a psns or the uh, people who are basically interacting with the cust uh, customer right so i help them so overall i own the quality of the product right so that's where uh, i think uh, you will get more respect uh, so ask yourself do you want to become a qa so if you are someone who is basically don't want to become a qa uh, in your mind you will not be respectful respectful to yourself and that's why you are not respected so that's again one of the important point uh, you can create your profile like if there is a, a given product so you can own own it and provide a sensible p0s and p1 so that's what i'm telling you right this is the step that you can try out so if you give more constructive feedback to pms developers and raise important bugs and help them to oh, help uh, help them to release uh, your uh, their product faster uh, but uh with a very good quality 
then definitely you will be more respected right so these are the point i think that those will be helpful for you and i these are the my views about the why qa people are not given any respect and how you can help to get uh get a respectful qa career right thanks a lot for watching this video i'll hope i hope you have learned something new in this video and i'll see you in the next one